We know that mantle cell lymphoma in general is a disease of older people. Uh, the median age is somewhere in the 60s, and so that means that a large number of patients that are going to present to clinic are going to be in the elderly population. Uh, some patients, uh, despite their advanced age, may be excellent therapy candidates, and in those cases, I often consider treating them just like I would any other patient, uh, often offering them uh, aggressive therapy if appropriate, including potentially stem cell transplantation. And this truly can be the case for patients really into their early 70s. However, a, a large number of patients uh, will be both of advanced age and have comorbidities or frailty or have other um, ongoing issues that make it more challenging to safely manage them with intensive induction regimens. And for these patients, I would say that the, the management can sometimes be challenging. Uh, when possible, I try to offer a, a combination chemotherapy uh, with uh, immunotherapy, like bendamustine rituximab. Uh, there are other available therapies, including rituximab plus lenalidomide, uh, which offer a chemo-free approach. Uh, but interestingly, there's a number of ongoing studies looking at alternatives to um, co aggressive combination chemotherapy, which can be considered in patients uh, that are of advanced age or with multiple comorbidities. So, for example, at our center, we're currently enrolling patients to a uh, study combining obinutuzumab, bendamustine, and the BCL2 inhibitor of venetoclax. Uh, and uh, we are excited to see what the results of this study uh, show. Uh, and our hope is, is that uh, patients who may not be eligible for the most aggressive therapies or for stem cell transplantation uh, can still enjoy uh, long-term remission. I think ultimately the key is to do a good thorough evaluation of each individual patient, especially those that are of advanced age. Uh, we certainly don't want to undertreat patients who may be eligible for uh, effective intensive treatment. At the same time, we want to make sure that we take comorbidities into account uh, because the development of long-term toxicity uh, due to uh, therapy that was too intense for a given patient is also problematic.